Ебать, что будет сейчас вообще не пойду вообще. Павел Губарев, a former employee of the DPR Ministry of Defense, was detained near the Meshchansky court, where Igor Gherkin Strelkov was arrested. Gubarev was detained for a solitary picket. He demanded the freedom of Gherkin Strelkov. Together they are members of the Angry Patriots Club, an organization that brings together patriots who are dissatisfied with the course of the war. Pavel Gubarev is one of the first leaders of the pro-Russian protests in the Donbass in 2014, and the former People's Governor of the Donetsk People's Republic, who was also responsible for recruiting into the People's Militia of the DPR. Игорь Иванович всегда подвергал критике обоснованной действия руководства Министерства обороны. There is a big fire in the Aksé area, in Russian Rostov region. Просто представьте это все, это не затушат. А ты... Ебать, что будет сейчас вообще, не понял, вообще. Под каким контролем все загорелось, люди убежали, хорошо? Это вообще ужас. Вот я стою метров, наверное, не знаю сколько, 150-200. Невозможно стоять. Да все, это все будет гореть. Рано свет вас так вырубать. <laughs> Побежал, все. This is the destruction of an enemy communication center using US supplied joint direct attack munition near Bakhmut. The video says that there are a lot of occupiers in this house, 200. Only a couple of invaders survived. One of them is a volunteer occupier whose channel is quoting this video. Guess what they are transporting to the front? All our hope is in a famine. The famine will start now and they will lift the sanctions and be friends with us because they will realize it is necessary. The Russians have been telling us for months what they plan to do, but the West isn't listening. Развивая тему кушать хочется, знаете, появилась такая очень циничная шутка, даже не шутка, просто возглас такой в Москве. Несколько раз я уже слышала от разных людей такая вот вся надежда на голод. Что имеется в виду? Имеется в виду, что вот сейчас начнется голод, и тут они образумятся, и санкции снимут, и вообще будут с нами дружить, потому что осознают, что не дружить с нами невозможно. The Western territories of today's Poland are a gift of Stalin to the Poles. Our friends in Warsaw forgot about it. We'll remind them, says Putin. And he seems to have forgotten what Stalin did to Poland previously. Западные территории нынешней Польши – это подарок Сталина полякам. Наши друзья в Варшаве подзабыли об этом. Мы напомним. Meanwhile, Muslims in Moscow are protesting. They make up 13% of the population in Moscow, mostly from Central Asia, took to the streets today with chants of Allah Akbar against the Russian police. Russia is closer to collapse than you think. Allah 
Sophisticated software keeps us at the cutting edge. Uncrewed aerial systems like Malloy drones, operated by the British Army, can move equipment, weapons, and even casualties from the front line and are part of our ongoing aid package to Ukraine. Ryanair announced a $3 billion post-war growth and invest plan to rapidly rebuild Ukraine's aviation industry once the war ends, and ESA declares that flying to from Ukraine is safe again. Good afternoon, this is Michael O'Leary. I'm speaking from Paint Square in Kiev. Uh, we're here in Kiev. Ryanair is here in Kiev. We're working with our partners at the Ukrainian airports and with the Kiev Ministry to restart air travel to and from Ukraine and to rebuild Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. Flying in a Russian plane can be an adventure. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.